about the AOE and I was just wondering if you had a okay. fresh friend. <laughs> but Noah's a good answer too. <laughs> Shields. Oh, Shell Tavern. <laughs> Shell Tavern. And I have a pulled pork and it was delicious. I finished mine. I was so starving. So, where are we now? now we're walking down Duke of Salisbury Street. There's the Raleigh this, house. Which I hold on. Where? Right behind you. Behind me? That house? That's called. Raleigh's house? Yeah, Raleigh. Raleigh. Raleigh's house. Raleigh. So, look at my back. Yeah, jeweler's house here. Huh? More quarters or you have to use to shoot things up in high trajectory. Cannons are only guns, so a lot of people use cannon to mean all big things that go through. But a cannon specifically is something that only fires line of sight, so it doesn't fire high up. You can only really kill things if you can see them. Mortars uh, shoot up over at high trajectory, and the howitzers are big mortars, basically. They're big things that look like a cannon, but they shoot up at high trajectory. So those are your three sort of main types of guns. Very easy to get disoriented. 
And as a private, as a common foot soldier, you will do nothing on your own. You, are only, you only do what you're told to do. Uh, so on a battlefield, if you're fighting and you get disoriented, you don't know what you're, you should do, you look behind you and this will tell you where your officers are. So you'll know where to go for orders. If you're retreating, if you're running away, your officers need to rally the men. This can help you can see you know, where I need to go to figure out what to do next. So we actually know that these were actively used during the American Revolution. George Washington issued several orders throughout the war telling his men, telling his officers, if you don't have a spontoon, get one. So he is making sure they all have it. Uh, uh, Halberds, the axe-looking thing carried by NCOs, they're going out of use by this time. They are still around. We have the prisoner here. She was caught selling ill-gotten <laughs> goods. Look up, you wicked wench. Help me. Help. 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 Three days I'm in out prison. here, and maybe we'll do it again. Help me. Please. This was the George With House. He was actually the first signer of the Declaration of Independence for the state of Virginia. This house was built back in the 1700s. And actually George Washington used it in 1781 before the Battle of Yorktown. It's laid out in the back with lots of buildings for their help. Huge piece of American history right here. The George With House on the Palace Green. Which is right down the way from the governor's house. The palace, as it was called back then. And today, I guess. We're here at Governor Palace. Yahoo! <laughs> this is the Palace Green. And this is at one end of Williamsburg, where the capital's at the other end. And this is where the uh, governor lived. That way, that building. back of the house. Oh, that's a cannon they're shooting off somewhere. This was the ballroom right here. We just came out from a tour in there. A 
lifestyles of the rich and famous back in the day. These are oyster shells. I'm walking on all crushed up. They ate some of the oysters back in the day. They had piles and piles of them and someone came up with a bright idea to use them for walkways and driveways. Quite common with the older houses in this area. So the stables right there. Oh, there's Zena. Still hanging out after an all day tour of Colonial Williamsburg. We're on one of the back streets here. We've got uh, some horses back here. been a very cool tour. We just left the governor's house or palace as they call it and uh oh what's that? Tour <laughs> and it certainly was fun. <laughs> palace has uh, a lot of weapons in it. Five hundred and forty muskets. That's in addition to the endless weapons at the magazine, which we showed you, and more weapons at the armory. Crazy. Send your sympathy cards to John Burroughs, Virginia Beach, Virginia. No, just joking. Makes me laugh all day long, every day. Come on. So guys, that's it. Guys, um. Thanks for watching the video and please like, comment and subscribe. And that's it for me. See you. Bye bye. So <laughs> I'm having a itchy bun. Yes. And I'm having cold blue Hawaii. Blue drink. I've got some hot sake. There's our sushi bar right back there. And we're waiting to have some wonderful sushi. Nice looking, looking place. Ikiban is the name in Williamsburg. <laughs> Ikiban has done it right. <laughs> Look at this. What do you got, Zena? I got a Penex roll and spicy tuna and a salmon sushi. It's taken. To have you have three, three. I don't remember. You don't remember? Salmon avocado. There. Lobster. And that's the uh, shrimp and lobster. There. Yeah. Obviously.
the same one Kushi there. I think this was a new one called Jade's Roll, which has no rice. It's basically lobster and crab wrapped in avocado. So we'll see.